Hi guys, this is Zizzer. He's our resident overseer, pretty much everything going on. Over there's our resident uh, uh, package checker outer. These are our Egyptian mouse quill and Ziz. And they help me around the office. If they only had thumbs, they do a little bit better job. Hey, tonight is Pet Palooza. And I have all kinds of fun pets here. So um, I don't know what kind of creatures you guys may have at home. But hopefully one of these little guys will look like the fur kid that you've got at your house. So I'm just going to get started. We're going to start with dogs tonight. This is one of our most popular. This is our little Chihuahua or Chihuahua. As one little girl that came to a booth told me they were called. And then we have, we call this one a pug. But people tell us it's a bulldog. We don't have dogs, so. You can leave it up to your own imagination. It's a dog to me. And this is our Rover. He kind of looks like uh, a little bit of Lab, a little bit of every dog. He comes in two sizes, the big guy and the little guy. And this is our Yorkie. We are currently out of stock on both of the pendants on the Yorkie, but the pendants look like one of the earrings in that size, and we'll be getting those back in. Um, my folks in Mexico are after me to get an order together for them just to try to help keep them going. So pets is one thing that we want to try to get, get more in. We've got Paul Prince. This is kind of like a little bloodhound. He's got a little nose on him. And a little heart there. And this is a retriever. And this is another one with a bone and one with this just a little headshot this is a Frenchie hey Leslie how are you and these are little Scotty dogs it could be Scotties or Westies again we're not dog people so use your imagination if you tell me what they are a little, just I got a couple little random d dogs here that don't have a match to them. These are one of a kinds that I have. Um, these are a oxidized sterling and um, and silver piece, and another cute pair of earrings. We have a dog wearing a bandana, and this little powder puff. Roland, do you want to get him and keep him from tearing things up? He's eating the flamingo. <laughs> hey Dana, we don't have any great Danes, but we might have we might have your little your little furchy. You might be able to find him here. That that could look like him. <laughs> um, husky, Pomeranian. Let's see. This is a little dangle dog. He dangles in three parts and he jiggles on your ear. I've got a little dog and a little cat like that. This is a tiny little post and that is just the sweetest little lab. And then we have a dachshund. I've got friends that are dachshund lovers so there's your doxies. And your water dogs. I have a large pendant here that I'm going to have in the closeout on Tuesday. Um, the pendant is just super sized. Sometimes whenever we order things they, they send what they have which may not be the size that we regularly order. That looks like a terrier. That's a one-of-a-kind piece. And this is our happy dog. He comes in stud earrings and a pendant and the long earrings. This is Lucy B. This is named after a sweet little Yorkie friend of ours that lives up in Boston. Little Lucy B is 12 and she doesn't have a tongue. Or she has a tongue. She doesn't have any teeth so her tongue keeps hanging out. Beagles. I don't have any beagles. Maybe as close as I get to the to the beagle is this one here. That might be that might be as close as I get, but but not really anything that are that are beagly. Sorry about that. And on to the kitties. Every time I see this Pomeranian in it reminds me of what is that horrible movie with Ryan Reynolds in you, that you watch that has the zombie Pomeranian? Vampire Pomeranian. Vampire Pomeranian. Very nice. Blade Trinity. Blade Trinity. There we go. I can't think of, of uh, I can't see this without thinking of Blade Trinity. <laughs> I 
my husband has warped my brain. Um, these are sweet little kitties. This one we call Sambuca. I don't know if any of you guys you remember. I had a Lilac Point Siamese, and that one reminds me of my sweet book. And this is copper and sterling on this little kitty outline, and that outline is here in tiny posts as well. Our cat with the silver moon hanging in the silver moon is always a, a um, big seller for us. I will have some very large pendants because, once again, uh, sometimes when I order, they forget that I have certain sizes and they send me what they have in stock. And I got like a three inch cat in the moon pendant, which is kind of way too big. So um, this set is hammered. You can see the, um, the hammered look to it versus the smooth look on this one. We've got Paul Prince. This is our furry love pendant, our little cat with the heart. He was our first cat that we had. This is one that I really enjoy. This is our best buddies, and it's an orange kitty with a, with a puppy dog. And if you don't have an orange kitty, we have just a plain silver kitty with a dog and matching pendant for that as well. This is our fancy pretty little kitty wearing a, wearing a bow tie. And this one is named Soft Kitty. I'll leave it to you guys to uh, say the little rhyme that goes with Soft Kitty. Purr, purr, purr. And there's another one. Going back here, this is Mr. Whiskers. That's named after our friend Susie's kitty in Texas. And that is... That is our Siamese. This one is a newer design for us. That is a matte silver moon with a copper kitty in front of it. And that does, that's does that been a real good, good seller for us. I really like this one. It's got a nice weight on it. Um, right now I'm currently out of stock of the pendant, but it's just the sweetest little, little kitty with a heart on him. And we have... Paw prints. This is our chunky paw print. Um, if you're describing that one, I know that one is the tiger paw because it reminds me of a Clemson tiger paw versus the oxidized paw print right there on that one. That's actually our Siamese. That one looks like cyanium. And that one's kind of like our Halloween kitty. We call that one Katniss. Longtail Kitty. A silhouette. This one's got a little star. And this one's kind of a like an art deco kind of kind of cat, and that is also done with a matte silver finish on it. Some little tiny studs. I've got one little guy right here. He's just an odd, odd little guy that I picked up. This is the dangling cat earrings, just like the dog ones that I showed you. A sweet little cat face and some more paw prints. Post earrings here. This is a one of a kind piece that I have and it is a kitty coming up out of a flower basket with a droplet of turquoise underneath him. And because we always have to have something for the beach, these are permaids. <laughs> There's a Hello Kitty with a mermaid tail, so we call them our permaids. And these, the ones on gray cards are one-of-a-kind pieces. So the terrier dog that you saw and these little sweet little kitties are one-of-a-kind. This has been a really good piece for us. We've sold this a lot. This is a, this is a paw print bracelet. I do stock the earrings for those and... I know that I have some in here, but I could not find the bin. The bin was out of place for me to to pull those whenever I went to grab them from storage. And this is a this is a 16 inch necklace, so it's a little bit on the small side, um, but uh, we do sell that one a good bit. Um, a lot of teens and tweens. That tends to be a really really neat piece for them. Okay, we got a little mouse, 
and there's a couple little bunnies here so we're equal opportunity pet owners while I'm at this end of the table I mentioned to you I had I showed you the mermaids the other night and these are um, trinket dishes to sit beside your bed put the put a um, ring in them some people even use them to put tea bags on so if you're having like a you know need a little tea bag coaster if you're a tea drinker but they're just little catch-all dishes and we have them in a few more styles here but this is our our dogs and cats and these are twelve dollars each they make for if you're giving a Mother's Day gift to somebody that's got a fur baby this might be a, a little extra thing to tuck into that gift so I've gone through my dogs and my cats and I'm gonna go to my non-traditional pets Elephants are the symbol of good luck, so more and more we've been trying to carry some of our elephants, so we've got, uh, we stock this, this one which I call Babar, and we stock this one, and we've got the, the earrings, those earrings are made in Israel, just a real neat, neat thing. We have sold those to, I don't know if any of you guys have been to Margate, New Jersey, but we have sold those to Lucy the Elephant, which is a museum that is a building that's shaped like an elephant so they're one of our clients and they buy elephant earrings from us i haven't been there but i understand it's quite the spectacle in margate new jersey um we've got a dragon and a couple of unicorns and we also have a couple little bear fetish pendants so that is it for our dogs and cats tonight i'm keeping it keeping it simple. Is there anything that you guys wanted me to double back for or a different animal or a different dog or cat that matches yours? Um, tomorrow we'll be doing garden, which will include dragonflies and butterflies, flowers, um, some of our birds. Those will all be in garden for May Day. And then uh, we will also be doing gemstone sets or if, if I have some odd gemstones, I will be focusing on my sets from Israel tomorrow. On Saturday, we're going to come back to the animals and we're going to we're going to hit the farm for a Derby Day. So I will have all of our horse jewelry, as well as I've got some roosters and cows and things like that. So we'll be bringing the farm with the rest of the horses for Derby Day, and I will also be oh tomorrow we will do um, three. Three o'clock again and seven thirty again. Uh, so tomorrow, I'll do the floral at seven thirty, and I will do the the gemstones. Do you guys have a preference? Do you want me to do the gemstones midday and the floral later, or which, which way? Anybody care? The floral will probably be a little bit more to go through because I do have a lot of, of floral stuff. The gemstones are sets, and those will be laid out nicely by sets, and um, so I'll do the floral in the evening, and again, the gemstones will be will be midday. Again, I'll lay those out by sets for you. There'll be some other oddball gemstones in there, just some amethyst. I have a couple of gorgeous blue topaz pieces that'll be, be showing as well, that I found those that were not in my first day of show. So again, uh, Derby Day on Saturday, um, statement pieces on Saturday, as well and on Sunday we'll do classic silver and classic opal and that will be the same opal that you saw earlier today in sea life on Monday we're going to do anklets and toe rings and chains on Tuesday we'll start out with our Cinco de Mayo celebration with our cocktails and then I'm going to lay things out that are for sale at cheap cheap prices and I'll number those to make it easier to go through and uh, we will have kind of a uh, just a, a sale show on Tuesday. We'll see how far we can get. So prepare Tuesday night. If you're not going out somewhere to celebrate or bringing in food to celebrate, just grab yourself a margarita and pre prepare to come join us. All right. Well, that's it. It's a short little show tonight. It's Zizzer approved. Zizzer, do you approve? You approve? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I appreciate the orders that you guys have placed so much. And uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thanks so much.